early voting is coming up. It's very exciting. And we are trying to encourage people to vote early the first day. We want to take back from the Republicans who are trying to take early voting as the thing, their new strategy to get Republicans to vote. We don't, we don't want to just take it back. We want to take it back and have a party. So we have got multiple locations that have early voting parties um, planned for September 22nd. So the goal is get your folks, get them out to the polls, and then go have go have a glass of wine, go have a beer reconnect you know this is all about relationships and the reason people come back is because they care about each other and they care about you know doing this work together and so give them a chance to celebrate also it's just a great way to start getting out the word and reminding people that they can vote early it's easy to vote early and it's fun to vote early so in the chat i'm going to put all of our early um vote happy hours there's one in Fairfax, there's one in Front Royal, there's one in Loudoun County, there's one in Virginia Beach, there's one in Accomack County, and there's one in Arlington. So if you did not hear your area, you need to plan an early vote happy hour, and we can add you to the awesome list of opportunities. But this is, gives us a chance to take photos, right? It gives us a chance to post on social media, and then you can put the link to say, you wanna vote early too? So easy, and here, here's how you find out where the location is, and here's how you find out who's on your ballot. So wanna really push, let's get this done. Let's get these votes counted early. The last thing we want are people who are scrambling on the last day saying, oh, I don't know how I'm going to make it to the polls. Do it now. Get it out of the way. And as we always say, it saves resources and time, right? As soon as we know that you voted, we don't have to knock on your door again. As soon as we know that you voted, we don't have to send you a ton of mailers. So let's let's focus on that for the next couple of weeks is getting people excited, getting people engaged, and getting them to the polls. So that's that's number one. And then number two, of course, is this year it's so important for us to be canvassing. And the reason I say this is because we've had changes, right? We have new district lines. We have, you know, new people running who people have never heard of before. We need to let voters know about their opportunities to vote, about who's on their ballot. We have a lot of local races. I know we have someone from the school board. We all know that the school board, they don't tell you if you're a Democrat or Republican on the ballot. We need to help let people know that. And having those conversations at the doors, it just makes the candidates become real people, right? It's a difference between getting a piece of mail and thinking, oh, well, you know, it's just a glossy thing that, of course, a marketing firm put together and whatever. Having someone come up and say, hey, I've met this person and this is why I really support them. This is what you should know about them so that you can encourage them to learn more. So really want to make sure that we're doing this canvassing. And to do that, the grassroots is planning weekends of action all throughout September. So I'm going to put those in the chat as well. Um, as you already heard, there's going to be a great one um, for uh, Nate McKenzie and the other folks down in his power pack. That's going to be this weekend on September 9th. Then we have canvassing in Leesburg for um, Russet Perry on September 16th. And another opportunity that Sunday on the 17th to, to canvas for her. So depending upon which direction you're coming from, there's a bus coming from Alexandria on the 17th down there as well. We've got a great weekend of action um, on September 23rd with WOFA and other great grassroots groups to support uh, Josh Cole and um, Griffin during in that power pack. And then the one that I'm most excited about because we got to get people down there is we're going to do a weekend of action in Chesapeake. And this is a critical power pack. It has um, both of the Jenkins campaigns. I think primarily we're going to be um, canvassing for Karen Jenkins. And what's also exciting is Karen Jenkins, those particular places we'll be canvassing overlap with Congressional District 2. Congressional District 2 is Luria's former seat. And we just found out that Missy Cotter Smazel is going to be running for that seat next year. Everyone is super excited. I've just been texting with her, seeing if she can come to our weekend of action. As you guys know, there's always been a challenge getting volunteers out 
in Southeast Virginia. We need you to show up that weekend. It's early on, right after early voting has started. It's a great time to be talking to um, voters, letting them know. And now that they know, now that we know that Missy's going to be running, you can even tell them about their opportunities to vote next year too. So we really want to make sure it's going to be a fun weekend. We're going to have a nice dinner together. Um, there'll be, you know, in information on supporter housing and hotels, but I'm putting the link in there. Please sign up today so we know that you're coming and that we can count on you to, to have that fun weekend with us. And if you happen to be coming from Arlington, Rosalind area, Louisa needs a ride. So <laughs> that is, that's what I got for you.